out of the past. Owned by Brian Penske Stable Incorporated, Vernon Shire Stable, Carl Penske and Penske Stable. Trained by Brian Penske, he is the driver. Number two, Lion Son of a Beach, owned by John Leahy of Westchester and Eric Boquist of Chicago. Trained by Joe Anderson, Ryan Anderson is up. Number three, Business Ethics, owned by Don Trilling, Lyle Skurlock, and Howard Zimmerman, all of Illinois, trained by Lyle Skurlock. Lance Skurlock is driving. Number four, Clear Command, is owned by Marvin and Catherine Powers of Paducah, Kentucky, trained and driven by Terry Colifer. Number five is Obon Pan, owned by Peter Pan Stables, Incorporated of Pepper Pike, Ohio, trained by Vincent Fusco, Jr., with Dave McGee in the bike. T.J. Best, number six, owned by Terry and Judith Benison of Galva, trained and driven by Michael Cox. Number seven, Meaning of Is, owned by Steve Newcomb of Chicago, trained by Tex Moach. The driver is Andy Miller. Number eight, Eternal Optimist, owned by Lloyd Arnold of Hartley, Delaware, trained by Jerry Hansen, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number nine, 50%, owned by Marshall and Lois Field of Rochester Hills, Michigan. Trained by Chris Boring. The driver is Mike Lachance. And number 10 will be Shadow Boxer. Owned by Donnie and Robert Taylor of Boulevard, Tennessee. Trained and driven by Donnie Taylor. Win place show exact to trifecta wagering. Three-year-old pacing Colts and Geldings. A $50,000 purse. The feature race of the day. Betting races go to the post. We still have those three other events, including the amateur series as well. So feel free to stick with us. Right now, they're at the post. Gates rolling for the N. Oren Baker Memorial. Race named for a former presiding judge at the Illinois State Fair Harness Races. And they're an eighth of a mile from the start. Here they come. They're off and pacing 50% and Eternal Optimus go out for the lead out of the past as they're down toward the inside. Eternal Optimus now moves up between horses to get the lead by a half length heading onto the turn. But 50% is going to go with him out of the past, gets shuffled back into third. Business Ethics is fourth around the turn. Shadow Boxer drops in in good position fifth. Lion Son of a Beach is sixth. They're all single file. Clear Command is seventh. Obon Pan is eighth. T.J. Best is ninth, meaning of is is 10th and last. 27 seconds, the time for the opening quarter, 50% leads it by a length as they move on to the back stretch. Eternal Optimus goes second by a length, followed by Out of the Past, Business Ethics, Shadow Boxer, Lion, Son of a Beach is seven lengths off the lead toward the center of the pack, followed by Oban Pan who takes toward the outside of Clear Command, then T.J. Best and meaning of is. At the half mile mark, 50%. On the lead, the half in 55 and three. Eternal Optimist right behind him in second. Then out of the past. Business Ethics is still fourth on the inside, entering the far turn. Lion, son of a beach, is fifth on the outside. Five lengths off the lead. Followed by Oban Pan, who has to go three wide. Shadow Boxer between horses. Clear command buried toward the rail. He's 10 lengths off the lead. Followed by TJ Best. And meaning of is absolutely last. A dozen lengths from the leader. Three quarters and 124. 50% leads it. Eternal Optimus takes to the outside. Out of the pass, needs to find something more and find it quick. He's still third, coming by the eighth pole. 50% trying to withstand an onslaught from Eternal Optimus. Who's there on the outside? These two testing each other in a drive to the wire. Eternal Optimus gets ahead in front. 50% has been game. He's still there. Eternal Optimus has his measure. Eternal Optimus gets it by an act. 50% was second, out of the pass third, the time, one minute, 51 seconds flat. Of Northern Illinois in the Chicago area, driven by Ohio native Tony Morgan. Here's the winner of the feature race of the afternoon, Eternal Optimist. <laughs> Trophy presentation about to be made down trackside in the winner's circle. Big group of people there. Jim Hannon, general manager 
for the harness racing at the Illinois State Fair and also simulcast director in Chicago for Maywood and Balmoral Park is presenting the trophy. John Cisna of the Review Association presenting the caretaker's medallion for this race. And there's Steve Brown and his wife Martha of Dunrobin Stud. They bred this presidential ball Ridgling, eternal optimist. Windows will be closing shortly, so if you plan to cash any winning tickets yet today, you will need to do so as soon as possible.